Hi, and welcome back. In today's video, we will explore how to use an AI-powered model live on the market to apply sentiment analysis on financial news. Specifically, we will use FinBert, a deep learning model trained exclusively on financial news data. So in brief, this is an automated bot that will search and read trading news from different sources, extracting sentiment scores, and computing the overall market feeling based on news headlines. In this example, we can see how the bot read and analyzed 70 articles about gold prices and provided the overall sentiments frequencies between positive, negative, and neutral categories. Traders believe that news can affect the market, but the question is, can we measure news and summarize it in a simple number? The advantage here is that we can schedule this script to run every day, for example, before major sessions, gather information around specific keywords related to gold, for example. These can be gold forecast, gold price, gold investment, and so on. And at the end, the algorithm will provide the overall market sentiment as a final number. Positive numbers indicate bullish market sentiment and negative numbers indicate a bearish sentiment bias. And since Finbert was trained on real financial reports and news data, it actually understands the difference between a sentence like Apple beats earnings and Apple under investigation. So we can use it to read market sentiment for assets like gold, oil, or even tech stocks. Now you might ask, why care about news sentiment? Because major price movements are often preceded by news events. If we can quantify the tone of news stories in real time, positive, negative, or neutral, we might detect early clues about where the market is heading in the next few hours. And to be honest, this topic was requested multiple times in the comments section of this channel, so I finally had to do it. I will walk you through the Python code to fetch live financial news headlines using RSS feeds, extract article titles using web scraping, and then analyze the tone using two methods, one based on a simple lexical model called Vador, and the second using our deep learning friend Finbert. We will be using queries like gold market, gold price, gold news, and so on, and we will fetch recent headlines for each query. Then we will generate a sentiment summary that might help you decide is the market anxious, optimistic, or just neutral right now. Just like in all our videos, the full Python code is available for download in the description so you can run it yourself, experiment with new queries, or even replace the sentiment model with your own custom version. All right, now let's dive into the Python code and run a few live examples. So this is our small Python code. This is the main function. The way it will work, we're going to define a list of queries. Notice here, I'm interested in gold. So I'm defining gold market, gold price, gold news, gold trends, and so on. So these are the queries that the uh, bot or the program is going to Google. And we're going to pick up 10 articles per query. So for each query, we're going to pick up the top 10 search results. Notice in this for loop, for query in queries, so for each of these queries, we're going to print fetching news articles for the name of the query. And then we define the articles. And this is going to be the results of fetch news function. So we need the fetch underscore news function. We're going to define this right here. But for now, we're using it. So we will pass the query and the number of articles per query to search for. And then we're going to uh, concatenate all of the results in the list named all articles. So all the articles from all the queries will be contained here within this list. For each of these articles within the list, so this is the list called all articles, we're going to apply the sentiment analysis. So that's one function that takes an article title, let's say, or maybe the article uh, document or the uh, text, and it's going to pass it through one of the models, either Finbert or Vader, and it will return a polarity and a sentiment. So these are two uh, parameters. And just to make sure that things are working properly, we're going to print this on the screen. Then we can call the function summarize sentiments on all the articles. And this function is defined here. So it takes the articles. We're going to define a dictionary named summary. It has positive, negative, and neutral. And then the count is zero for each of these sentiments. Now, for each of the articles, we're going to analyze the sentiment of the title. So we're just using the title as an example here of the um, article. And we extract the sentiment. Then whatever the sentiment is, positive, negative, or neutral, we're going to increment it within the dictionary, the summary dictionary. So at the end, we will have frequencies of how many positive articles, how many negative, and how many are mostly neutral. 
at the end, the uh, function is going to print on a screen the percentages of these frequencies. Now, going back to the other functions, you have analyze sentiment of a certain text. So this one is commented here. It uses Finbert, the Finbert model. And the one I'm using now, it's the same, analyze sentiment. It takes a text and it uses Vader. Notice that the uh, functions are different because models here work differently. Vader uses a threshold, a probability threshold. For example, if the polarity is above 0.05, you can change this depending on how you want to uh, activate your uh, positive and negative sentiment detection. So I put this to 0.05. Anything above 0.05 is a positive, is an indicator of a positive uh, polarity. And if the polarity is less than minus 0.05, so that's a negative sentiment. Anything in between is neutral. It's not enough sentiments expressed within the title to um, get a feeling either it's positive, negative, or neutral. So for now, we're going to uh, consider it neutral to get a feeling if it's a positive or negative. And so it's considered neutral by default. Now, as for the other functions, we have fetch article content within a certain URL link. So that's a function that's going to use beautiful soup just to scrap some data over the web. And then we have fetch news as well. You have the query and the number of articles. It's going to Google and it's going to add the query. And this is where we're going to get those titles or the links of these articles of the top 10 searches for a certain query on Google. This function returns an article and it uses the fetch article content providing the link, which is the function that we've defined here. Now going backwards, we have three labels, positive, negative, and neutral. And this is where we're using hugging face to um, get the Finbert model and the tokenizer. I've used this reference. You might want to choose different models, something probably larger or more performant. You can use even la large language models to analyze the sentiments. It's up to your choice and what kind of hardware you have and the purpose of the code. And this is it for the code. Obviously, you can add a small cron scheduler so you can run it once per day, for example, at the beginning or at the end of a certain session check the news and the sentiments. You get your sentiments before the trading session and you trade based on these news. Now I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to activate my virtual environment where I downloaded and installed all the necessary packages. And then we're going to simply type Python sentimentanalysis.py and it's going to scrap these gold market gold prices, going to search on Google for the top 10 searches for each of the queries. It's doing it right now. It might take a couple of minutes. So now it's fetching news articles for gold market. Once it's done, it's going to search for the second query, the third query. So now it's for gold price. It's taking around 30 seconds to 40 seconds per query. Okay, gold investment. So that's the uh, the last one. Notice that it went through all the queries. A few more seconds. And that's the analysis. We have a positive frequency of 21. The total articles analyzed, 70. And 30% uh, are positive. 21% are negative and 48% are neutral for now. So this is just analyzing the titles of the articles. You might want to go deeper, check what kind of pages are being offered on Google and scrap the whole content. I prefer to be content with the titles for this example to keep the video as short as possible. And this would be it for today. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you found the information helpful. Until our next one, trade safe and see you next time.